Well, we're here to talk about disability benefits laws. I'm going to focus on Social Security because Social Security is not the only disability benefits law. And sometimes what we try to do is tie in other benefits to the Social Security. Um, most of you know about Social Security. That's a benefit that you pay for when you work. You're paying FICA tax. Part of that tax funds a disability policy. The first thing I want everybody in this room to understand is it's not a handout. Social Security disability is not a handout. You've paid for it, and you've paid a lot of money for it, okay? Supplemental Security disability is a secondary program which pays a supplemental benefit if your Social Security benefit is really low or if, if it's zero. And it might be zero if you've never worked uh, so you've been a homemaker for many years, and uh, the, the breadwinner dies, you're not eligible for a widow's benefit, which we'll talk about because you're too young. You might be eligible for supplemental security income. Children are eligible for supplemental security income. That's typically called SSI. Please don't confuse it with Social Security Disability. People get the two confused, and they're quite different. What is similar is the disability standard. The benefit and the other criteria are very different. We'll get into that a little bit. Another thing is workers' compensation. Why do I mention it here today? Well, it's interesting that workers' compensation, um, which really just applies to on-the-job injuries, also applies to a condition which is aggravated or exacerbated by a work-related accident or work-related conditions. So sometimes we look to see if we can make a workers' compensation claim if there was something in the work environment that may have not necessarily caused, but activated or aggravated an underlying disease such as scler scleroderma. And by coming to these conferences, I learned that there are some things that happen in the workplace that can incite uh, aggravation of scleroderma. So whether it's scleroderma or any other type of disease, we always try to look for what type of work did you do to see if there's a connection and another benefit we can look for in addition to Social Security? Veterans disability. There are a lot of presumptions for veterans under the veterans disability law. And a lot of them have to do with uh, a lot of veterans who served in, say, Vietnam and were subject to exposure to various chemicals and things of that nature. So there's a lot of veterans who are missing the boat because they don't think they're entitled to anything who may be entitled to veterans' disability, or they're getting something service-connected and don't realize they can get more than what they're getting. So that's part of the mosaic on disability. Another thing is disability pensions. Just at the break, someone uh, told me about their mother who was worked for the Postal Service and was looking for a disability pension. A lot of public employees, federal, state, and local, have various disability pension programs a lot which depends upon what tier or the pension system they're in, where they work, but most public employees are entitled to some sort of disability pension. A lot of union employees are entitled to a disability pension from their job. The union plans frequently are predicated on receipt of Social Security disability, so you've got to go for both. And finally, private and group long-term disability plans. Typically, these are found in larger companies, more often than not in white collar jobs, but today we're starting to see them in some of the higher paying blue collar jobs. And what a long term disability plan does, if it's a, a, a group plan, is it'll pay maybe 50, 60, 70 percent of salary. It may or may not be taxable depending upon who paid for the benefit. If you paid for the benefit through your employer, when you get that benefit check, it's not taxable. If the employer paid, it is taxable. It usually sits on top of Social Security Disability. So if, if you were making $60,000 a year and that benefit is paying, say, $30,000 a year, you may be getting $20,000 in Social Security. It'll pay you the difference. You'll get the $10,000. Private disability plans are disability plans that you buy from your insurance company, your broker. <coughs> They can provide for a number of things. They can provide for two years of benefits. They can provide be benefits if you can't do your occupation, benefits if you can't do any occupation. 
You need to be careful when you buy it. You need to be well-educated so you know what it is you're getting and what it is you'll be entitled to if you can't work.